My name is Rhapsody and welcome back into the Gungeon. It's time to play as the Huntress, my second favorite of the base classes. Goes Marine, Huntress, Bullet, Robot, Convict, Cultist, <coughs> Sajunkin, 10 curse runs, being kicked directly in the face. Uh, getting a paper cut <clears throat> on my genitals and then pilot in terms of things I like to dislike. Yeah, get him. So I'll be using the crossbow a hell of a lot on here, uh, on here on the first floor. Despite the fact I recognize that there is a, you know, obvious downside in that, it is the weapon I want to use as my boss weapon for this floor. So expending all of its ammunition early appears possibly not to be the best strategic play. But in spite of that, I still want to. Woo! Hell yeah! Not only did we manage to dodge back into our own entrance there, we managed to use the dynamite shotgun kin to kill... Or most of the other shotgun kid in that room. And then we also had the freedom and safety to kill the item kin as well. Yeah. That's really unfortunate. Just due to the way they spaced, there was very little I could have done there. Very important to get pretty far away from that attack. But usually you have broad affordance of distance from it, so it's not hard. Okay, I'm going to cut across early because another circle directly above me and I won't have a blank left for checking for the secret room. Don't do circle head attack. Don't do circle head attack. Don't do circle head attack. Got him. Ooh, rad gun. That's excellent. Cool. Bonza? No, it's another weapon. Huh? Ooh, that looks like a secret room right there. Yes, it is. Probably no combat left on this floor that can also damage me, so... I mean, I could use the rad gun, but I could also just not use it yet. Save the ammunition in it at the moment. Like, it is so damn overqualified for clearing this floor. Oh, thanks for the armor, bud. That's why I love using the crossbow. Just the feeling of just like settling in and then absolutely destroying an entire room. Just going kind of from target to target. It feels good. It feels nice. Thankfully, I was aware of the fact that a single crossbow bolt as well as a single revolver shot was enough to kill a ghost on the first floor in particular. So I was able to kill it really, really, really quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, and 61. Okay, so it's not a, it's not entirely low casing for first floor. It's not ridiculously high, but it's not low. I mean, I kind of had to use that. We've gotten two key drops on this floor as well. That's extremely good. All right, we're probably going to open the green chest and go to the oubliette. 
Probably purchase nothing from the store unless there's something like extremely good in there. No. Yeah, that, that doesn't get purchased. Okay. Our pattern doesn't change at this point, so we can just do what we want. Oh, it's the big boy! What a big boy! I love it so much. Yeah, keep it down, and then cross, and then do that, and then go to the oubliette, and then destroy everything with the biggest boy? Uh, in the oubliette, I'm actually probably going to use the, the rad gun. It seems like a relatively good idea. Just so that I can keep my armor and my guanstone about. Do I do have guanstone, right? I think I have a guanstone. I do have a guanstone. Excellent. All right. One, two, three, four, five. This should be enough to basically insta kill anything on this floor. One, two, three. Damn it! One, two, three, four. Five. Hey, excellent. Yeah, these are pretty quick clears. This is why I'm using the rad gun, by the way. Look at this. Damn it. One, two, three, four. At this rate, I could probably just go for four as well. Also probably should just be going for four. I'm just gonna big boy that room right there. I don't need to leave them. Just hanging about for a while. So now shop. Phoenix as well as the unfinished gun. I think those have a synergy. I've I've been trying to brush up on my gungeon knowledge by reading a little bit of the wiki. I believe those two have a synergy with no, uh, one another. That said. I don't know if the synergy would be good enough to justify picking up both of those, especially when I'm saving money for the later Nord key. I hate this room so much. Woo, got it. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was some bad dodging on my part, though. Give me elite. No. Wait, elites don't exist in this game? I was thinking of the boss. Damn it. That's a difficult reload to make. Okay. And roll him. Nice try, bud. Damn it. One, two, three. This is the annoying thing about using the rad gun. Having to do that. What cursed item do I have? All oh, right, of course, big boy. Big boy carries, I think, like 1.5 curse, if I recall correctly. Shouldn't have gone in that room, but I did go in that room and there was no negative consequence. And as a result, that means that action was correct because it didn't have a negative outcome, despite the fact that it had the possibility to. What do you mean? That's willfully, uh, willfully incorrect reasoning. I'll have you know I would never do that. Uh-huh. 
One, well, two, three, four. Got him. I'm not going to waste bullets on you. Get out of here, chumps. Damn it. Ugh. One, and then two, three, four. I'll do four before I go into a room. Because then it's not that difficult to hit the fifth to do another room afterwards. Got him. Woo, got it. Woo. Nice, nice, nice. And there's the boss room. All right, this is gonna be great. All right, and then we change gun. The damage that the big boy did almost gave me back like half of the big boy. Nice. All right, while you're doing that, I'll take the opportunity to reload my rad gun. You can see the first two shots of that rad gun did a ridiculous amount of damage, and then after that it immediately tapered off pretty ridiculously. That's boss armor coming into effect. Now you could argue, Rhapsody, why didn't you just fire the rad gun slower? And my response to that is... Oops. Oh! What? What on earth? Hello, heroin. Heroin and I go way back. Oh, baby, back into the wars. It is so good to see you again, heroin. The entire time I spent doing lich streaking, I was just chasing the dragon, man. That's it. Whew. And let's show them how it's done, friend. Yeah, literally everything in a single hit. No need for the reloads before we go into a room or anything like that. There's our secret room. Ooh, nice. Little bomber. Not bad, not bad. Like, I can save all of these. Sure, now I got seven saved. Not going to mean anything come next floor, though. All right, do I want to open... Both of the blues actually kind of do. Shades Revolver, that's an extra two coolness. That's not bad. It's also a relatively good room clear weapon, but the thing is, you know, I'm not going to be using it. I have the heroin, and the heroin's way better. This is the Pactive Chest, so speed up is what I want. Got the mustache instead. A familiar face. It's a me. The person who has a mustache. And yeah, that's that seems like all of the value I can eat out of this floor. Oh, let's go. So we've got, uh, what, 25 more than we're going to require for the Nord key. I probably should have considered buying a key on that floor because I'll definitely have enough money at the end of this floor to buy the... Hang on. Again, I should probably listen to my own advice and use the worst available weapon. And in particular, the worst available usable weapon. That's not great. Woo! Doesn't even single kill those. Okay.
I had to remind myself there for a second that it is totally okay for me to use the big boy. All right, I might end up getting the ability to steal, at which case I could save 115 by stealing the Nord key. So I won't pick it up yet. Okay, just had to make sure that I got across that gap. I've been screwed by that before. It insta-kills those? That's really big. Okay, okay. I'm trying to get to special rooms as quickly as is possible here so that I can try and offload this armor. It's called like the armor of Tyrannus, right? I think. Not entirely certain, but whatever it is, I need to get rid of it before it gets rid of itself. I think I took like one hit in an early room, so I might actually have already taken damage on this run. So I'm violating my own room uh, rule and going to the actual shop rooms. Good dodge. All right. And then the ammunition, I'll split from the crossbow. Damn it. I don't actually want to go to that combat yet. I want to get rid of this armor so that I can guarantee the possibility of going to the Abbey of the True Gun. Because I'm pretty powerful. I would be able to take down the Abbey of the True Gun. Well, now, I don't want to say with ease, but easily. That was a risky room. Now, unfortunately, there's a locked room over there with a lock on it. So that's basically just another chest at this rate, right? Oh, no! It has a... All right. I think I have enough guns, so I need to teleport to the shop immediately and buy a key. Okay. Hang on. Oh, got it! Ooh, just in time! Got a synergistic item, and that's going to be Hero Pig. What are you synergizing with right now, Hero Pig? Hyper Beam... Um, it doesn't seem particularly hyper. I want to know what this one is doing. Uh, it's, it's Hero Pig Heroin. So I'll look on the Hero Pig page. Hero Pig saves goat. Ooh, I want to look at that. All right, you, you'll just chill for a moment. I'm going to check out this... Uh, this this is a video on YouTube of a hero pig saving a goat. Don't worry, I'm kidding. I'm actually just looking up the synergy. Come on, tell me what it is. Uh, it is Hyper Beam. When the pig dies, heroin's, uh, heroin's ammo mode is fully re... Sorry. When the pig dies, heroin's ammo is fully refilled and it temporarily switches to Hyper Beam mode, which does uncharged shots of 80 damage and charged shots for 160. And it reverts after 60 seconds. So... I guess ideally use that in the final boss fight you plan to do.
Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's a synergy that has absolutely no relevance to us yet. And ideally, it will never have any relevance to us. So it's a bit weird. All right. I'm actually just going to use the heroin. Just had to get over to the other side of the map there. Oh my god. Had to use another blank there just because those... Like a single shot from... Oh my god, I hate that so much. A single charge shot from the heroine was not enough to kill those missiles. That makes no sense to me. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, secret rooms. We'll check in here. Hang on. Probably better to use this. Because the usefulness of this is gone next floor. All right. It doesn't seem like the... Damn it! I don't know if I can fire from outside in well enough, so I'm gonna take the Nord key just in case, and then possibly, you know, annoy the shopkeeper, unfortunately. Yep, no clue. Already bought the key from you as well. We've got two blue chests left unopened. We've also got a Lonk. Lonk is probably better. Thing is, Lonk gives me no result if I don't use a key there, whereas the blue chests still give me, you know, junk. At least. Well, sometimes they explode, but you know. Uh, now, next floor, I am going to need a single key. I'm quite likely to have one by then. All right, so we'll use this. Mm-hmm. Laser Sight, King of the Dot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, it's also worth noting that another reason to come into this room is the possible existence of a secret room. All right. Now, little bomber, do your thing. Got him. That's right. Bounce the little bomber and it works. I believe I used to know that, but I forgot that. And some extraordinarily friendly commenters reminded me of that. that happens. Play well, get keys though. So as long as we don't take damage and we take very little damage, um, we're just going to have a bunch of keys. Effectively, if you don't take damage in a room, the chance at the end of... There exists quite a high chance, in fact, uh, that at the end of that room, it'll drop a key. Next time, just use a key. Yeah, sure. Let me just summon him out of the ether, bud. Like, I have literally no way to have and use a key right now. All right. I think I'm actually going to go down to the Abbey of the True Gun. Now, this is, uh, I believe, a good idea for this run and a bad idea for me as a human because I have somewhere to be. Uh, so... <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you. There's a war mimic in here. 
Also, I actually just straight up got ran into for damage. How dare. Come on. Fight me, wall. What? Isn't there? The dog yipped, though. Yip means mimic. Oh, uh, I guess they actually dug something up last floor. Last floor, last room. And they were just late to tell me about it. Uh, okay, this one should go into... Guess crossbow. I mean, not many of our weapons are missing enough to utilize that effectively. Okay, we definitely want to take as little heart, uh, little red heart damage as possible here. I was actually really, really happy that the Gundra was specifically buffing a normal bulletkin because a normal bulletkin is really unintimidating which is why I was just letting that one live and firing at the other people behind got him really there we go On. Yeah, that that room and the fact that I was already cornered, that was only just going to get worse. It was only going to get way worse. Hey, there we go. Took a little bit of effort, but I managed to clear a path to the Gunja in the back lines. Okay. And then you. Damn, the gun nuts are giving a lot of money right now. This is a high casing run overall, definitely. No? Ah, got him. Cool. I'm trying not to roll across because if I roll forwards and the enemy is also firing in my direction at the same time, I'm just going to take that hit and that's not going to be good. Right, there's a secret room. We can open the secret room with a little bomber. We've got to remind ourselves of that. So we do have the capability to... That could be a rough room if one of them rolls a critical. Uh, but we got to remind ourselves that we are free to use absolutely all of our blanks in this fight if we'd like. I kind of want to fight the boss. Like before I finish the floor. I do still need weapons. This is the, the kind of frustrating fact of the world right now. One, two, three, six. The frustrating fact of the world right now is I still need weapons because I don't have any boss weapons. Okay. I'm firing this super slowly. It's actually working out so far as well. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. By firing super slowly, I'm not breaking the damage cap per second. And as a result, I'm not invoking boss armor. Damn it. Worst of both worlds. I had to use my thing and I got hit. Okay, you need to stop hitting me because I don't want to lose any red health to you, bud. I have plans for that red health. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, you took four hits against my armor, which... But you didn't take any of my red health. And that's exactly what I wanted. So that's fine by me, bud. Fine by me. Laser rifle and laser sight don't have a synergy, eh? Mm, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. You both have laser in the name. Come on. Does laser sight actually have a synergy with anything? Nice. Master of Unlocking just gave me a key. Is in fact the first I've gotten from it as well. Right. So I've saved three so far, I believe. I'm just gonna insta clear that room because it terrifies me. That's probably the second secret room right there. It's also a mimic. Um. Is there any ordering I need to consider at this point? No, not really. Okay. Mahogany. Not bad. Not bad. Not my favorite gun, but not my least favorite either. Got him. Okay. And not a mimic, at least. Uh, then we'll do the same here. Got him. Hey, it's Brother Alban. Okay, I'll come back to you at the very end. Um, so I know that I'm opening this chest, naturally. Cheese wheel. Yeah, I don't know if that's better than Big Boy. It's definitely new. You know, you come Pac-Man, you just eat a bunch of enemies. But is it better than Big Boy? It's really difficult to be better than Big Boy. Big Boy clears the map. For the sake of going for the new things, I think I'll go with the big boy. Sorry, for the, the partially aged cheese. Right. There's G to drop. Sell the big boy. Take the partially aged cheese. Yeah, you can ferry items back and forth, by the way. That's, that's exactly what I just did. Um, these are worth 28 to me. That's probably also the same paying rate that she's going for at the moment. I think I opened this. I think I have, because I have Master of Unlocking, so I think I actually just naturally opened this. Ooh, a heart container. Hell yes. That unfortunately means this one's not going to get opened. Because I, I don't have a key. Right, I don't have a key. There's no other secret rooms on this floor. I have found all of the secret rooms on the floor. There is no way that I can open that other green, uh, that other blue chest. I would do it if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Right. So it's your paying rate. Right? It's 29, uh, 28, sorry, so yeah. I'll sell five because I have five blood banks. I think I actually still have two left on the map as well. Five blood banks. Yeah, no, I just have the five. Cool. Mm hmm And one more time for posterity. Cool. If there's armor in this shop, I'm actually quite likely to buy it. No, there's not. Okay. Uh, fine. Damn it. Still got two left? Oh, mustache! When you purchase something, occasionally you'll heal half a heart. So I should still actually go through all of these. Well, not all of these, but down to... Anyway. 
Then... Didn't get it. Did get it! I'll take one more from you, and now I can get another 28. Hell yeah! So money is now broken, basically, for the rest of the run. There's very little that we can't purchase. So, you know, our supply is just based on what <laughs> exists. I could sell things to the sales grate, but I really don't need the money right now. So, I'm going to do that. Hi, right, Brother Alvin. No, several truths. My favorite color is purple, so I guess half right on each of them? We got a key. Nice. Now we can go and open that uh, blue chest. That's why I didn't blow it up beforehand, just in case we got something that allowed me to open it. Um, not a mimic. Here's the elephant gun. Oh, it's got a synergy. Oh, it changes the look of it as well. Elephant in the room. Oh my God, it's with the ping as well. What? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, if the player has elephant gun, it becomes a elephant head and shoots elephants instead of bullets. Oh, yeah, look at them unfurl over there. They are elephants. Okay, I don't know how much damage this is dealing, but I'm definitely going to be using it for a long period of time because it looks cool as hell. Looks cool as ice, and I'm willing to sacrifice my DPS for it. All right, down we go. Just making absolutely certain that I haven't screwed this up. Oh. That's a nice notification. It's just a notification popped up on my phone and distracted me. Um, of a new patron. Thank you, Vlad. Oh, damn, this is the right room as well. Okay. Yeah, this this is this is the correct room. So we just need to find ah, uh, there we are. Right here. I've gotta make sure that Actually I don't even need blanks, right? Because I have the little bomber. I just need to make sure that I have one key available for that. The ability to single hit kill one of those like ghostly apparitions there, that's not bad. That's not bad. That speaks well of the DPS of this gun. I can't really evaluate it until we get to, you know, a boss so that I can actually see its effect on an HP pool. But you know, not bad. With like a single damage up, a... Oh no, it doesn't single hit kill bows. That's unfortunate. That's a ridiculous amount of knockback though. Uh, with a single damage up... Nice, there's our key as well. I would know for a fact that the crossbow would be two-shotting... Two-shotting? It's actually probably three-shotting the ghosts right now but it would be one-shotting mushrooms, so the mushrooms don't really tell me that much. I'm just going to unlock this so that I don't screw up, basically. So that I don't mess up somehow and not end up with a key or throw away the little bomber or something like that. So I'm just going to get all of the progress towards the area we want to go to unlocked. Uh-huh. Yet again. Cool. All right, let's go back onto the floor. Whew. Uh, yeah, I should probably default to the heroin right now. A lot of very, very, very important and stressful rooms. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of the time I'll just fire it where the origin of the shot appears to be. Oh my God. You really want more blood. I'll fire at the suppose. You suck. How did it live? Like it got exploded twice. That's a normal bullet can. And it got pushed over to the side and then just made contact with me. That sucks. Right, I think I'll use the elephant gun for the boss. Oh, it's Door Lord. Screw you, Door Lord. Eat the Door Lord. Feed on the Door Lord. Come on. I was coming out of the thing. I had no opportunity to dodge that. I just absolutely hate this boss. Like, with all of my bits. There, there's no way that I was going to flawless this. The Door Lord is harder than the dragon. And also, you fight them less commonly than you fight any other boss. Because they're effectively like a mimic boss fight. And as a result, you're less well prepared to fight them. Because, of course, you don't have that much practice in it. Oh, you can actually fire while you're in this? Okay, that's news to me. I don't want to lose much more red HP, damn it. I hate the Door Lords so much. I lose a bunch of HP to the Door Lord every single time. And I don't understand how you don't do it, honestly. I... Whew. This is a good run and I'm actually tilted now just because the Door Lord showed up. That's how much I hate the Door Lord. I hate the Door Lord with a burning passion. Nice. Thank you for the full hearts. Very helpful considering I would like to sell some. Let's see. Just gonna stay here and handle all that from afar. Thank you. There's our secret room. Ooh, synergistic chest that's already open as well. Nice. Damn, gave me a random item. Spring heel boots, though. They allow you to roll while you're rolling, so you can correct your roll. You can also extend it. It's really, really... They're, they're, they're probably way too good to be in the brown chest pool, which they are. I believe they're in the brown chest pool. They might be in the blue, actually. Hang on. Are they? I think... I'm pretty certain they're brown chest pool, but I don't want to be wrong. Uh, spring heal. Give me the answers, Gungeon Wiki. I demand them. Uh, it, it refuses to say. Quality D. Yeah, no, it's in brown chests. Mm -hmm. It's one of surprisingly many reasons to open brown chests. That said, they're still lower priority than more consistently good chests, like, you know, green... 
and black. I specifically skipped red there, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Because red has this weird problem where sometimes it's amazing and oftentimes it's just complete garbage. I, I don't know if this goes over, you know, I get him? Ah, there I did. Whew. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know if it would have allowed me to go over gaps, so... Can't risk it. And I'm actually just going to straight up leave that room. I don't need any of those bullets hitting me. Although I do want that half heart, so I'll come back later. Getting stopped by that cart while I was trying to roll there was unhelpful. I already found my secret room and gone to it. Yes, I have. Okay, so we're pretty safe to open this. Oh, look, he's Blasphemy. Blasphemy no longer has curse? What? I was pretty certain that when you got Blasphemy as any other character than the bullet, it, it had curse. Like when you got it as an item. Ice Cube, what's cooler than cool? Items will also recharge while being active. That's gonna make this, uh, this, 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 this boy very, very good. Gonna make him a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh. Yes, yes, yes. Take the hearts. Purchase a full heart, didn't get a half heal, didn't get a half heal, damn. Definitely purchasing the key, definitely purchasing the helix as well. Alright, so I, I got a heal out of one of those. I may have gotten a heal out of both of those and screwed that up actually as well. That is a distinct possibility. Nobility? Royalty? Sorry, the received pronunciation. From Maleficent. I the dialect coach Eric Singer videos, I just watch them over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's so good. Three. I've way too much money, I have nothing I can do with it, so. Now I have th two master rounds. Of course, I didn't get the master round fighting Door Lord. That was just never gonna happen. Let's be real. Um, but okay, fine. I'm fine how we are. I've come to terms with it now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get in the cart, roll up, nice. And next floor. Well, next floor is just going to be all about uh, all about heroin. The boss fight, that's a little less decided. That one could be a wee bit of a problem. I guess probably elephant guns. So elephant guns need in a refill, definitely. Nice, 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 nice. Rush him. Get the money. Nice. Uh, it's right, down, 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 left, left. Uh, this rad gun should be able to basically like single hit kill most enemies. So. Give me all of your strength. I just ate death. That's hardcore, bud. You just ate death. Oh, come on. 
I rolled downwards, and there just so happened to be a barrel there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Down number two. Yikes, that could have been a lot worse. And then this is down number three, right? And then we start going left. Mm -hmm. Step on all the rats as well. Damn it. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. Good. All right, let's go. That was a nice room. We'll refill the elephant gun, though. One, two, three, four, six. Damn it. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four, five, six. This video is intended to be educational. I'm teaching, uh, I'm teaching kids how to d count. That's what I'm clearly doing. I'm definitely not just trying to focus so hard that I'm screwing myself up. Uh, okay. Cool. All right. Time to go open the fight, I guess. I want to get to seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One. You basically have to do it instantly. At seven. You just hit me twice instantly. Stop it. I hate that those are spaced so that you can't roll across from them. Like, they're very specifically spaced like that. God, I'm triggering like all of these ground traps as well. Taking way too much damage in this fight. Fine. That was actually probably the best that's gone, so I'm happy about that. All right. Three hearts, though, left over. That was really rough. Not having, like, a really good boss killing weapon is a rough time. One, two, three, four, five, seven. There we go. All right. Let's go. Let's go, bud. I actually might end up dying here. Okay, uh, that was all terrifying. I think it's just time to go to a standard gun. What the hell was that? The foot just opened up and immediately started dealing damage. Lame. I still don't know how to dodge this one.
I now have the ability to actually just permanently use the cheese right now. Like, the cheese is back up by the time the first cheese is done. Thank you, Shades Revolver and Sunglasses for the coolness that allows me to do this, as well as Ice Cube. Sunglasses? I don't have sunglasses. Sorry. Radgun. This is kind of bonkers. I probably could have flawless the rat if I knew this. And then we'll just continue to do it. You yeah, know, just for funsies. Bye. Okay, now I apparently do need to get supers in this fight. That, that's just a thing you need. Damn it. So I need to hit him when they blink. Got one. My bad. Damn it. I keep ducking away from those. That was my bad as well. I just lost my super, I think. Damn it. Ah, oh, we did get a scrambler there as well. So we have the hero and the egg scrambler kind of sitch. Going for that super is probably a bad idea. That one. Damn it. Damn it! Yeah, I tried to go for those to get the supers because I'm looking at the clock on the side with the 108. I was pretty certain that I wasn't going to be able to beat it unless I supered them. Um, yeah, the, I'm just going to have to get used to the timing and it's just going to take ages. Making an egg synergy. We've had this recently. Not bad. To guarantee that I'm not screwing up. Cool. Now they don't move, do they? No, they do. They do move. Because that wasn't the that was rat boots before and it wasn't rat boots last time. Oh, it's the cheese. I have the cheese. So I just combined them. Damn you for giving me the cheese. Um, then who else needs some? It's like Radgun. And then we'll get out of here. If I saved the key, and I actually probably should have um, saved it and just gone directly to final floor. Because nothing can touch me. I, my weaponry is insane. We now have a ridiculous boss, uh, boss weapon in the Scrambler. And I have a synergy at the moment. Not, you know, a straight up synergy, but like a soft synergy. That is allowing me to permanently stay defended while I fight bosses. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Why am I doing this on this floor? That's a bad idea. I think it passively reloads between floors. Even if it's full. So I just lose the damage buff. One, two... Three, four, five, six. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to try and clear a room with four. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, still single hit kills most targets. I say most because most enemies will have less HP than the genie did. One, two, three, four. Right. 
I hate the scenery just getting in the way of my shots as well. That's the thing that actually does frustrate me. Quite a lot, in fact. One. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Don't know why I went to six. I've decided not to do that, right? Can't believe I let Blockner hit me. Ugh. Wow. I let myself get hit by Blockner. Oh, that's that's rough. That doesn't feel good. Let's just make this the Pac-Man run. I should be using my gun while I'm doing the Pac-Man thing. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the Pac-Man charge back up in time. Now, you down there. Actually, you know what? Ha going to an extra floor so that I have extra chances for more shots so that I can just buy a bunch of items and get a bunch of synergies is insane. I also have three synergies with a hero pig right now. I think there's literally four. The final one being... Oh my god, I just walked into the room. Game. The final one being getting any item that has cannon in the name. Transforming the hero pig into cannon from the bullets past. Obvious reference to Ganon. From the Legend of Zelda series. Sure, I can the heroin. Get him. I'm going to have to go by feeling to recognize when the heroin is charged while I'm using that. I now do want passives from boss, so... Come on! I have Excalibur as well as Blasphemy. That should totally be a combo. Sorry, it's synergy. Okay. Let's get back to heroin. Ooh. Oh, right. It's egg gun. It's always going to be egg gun. Now, okay, this is something I'm going to test because this runs already successful in doing the only thing that I really care about. If the warmonger goes over you, like if you're in ethereal form or something like that, and then wow, uh, and then the warmonger, the warmonger manages to go over you, what used to happen is they would insta kill you. No longer the case, I guess. That said, I could have just perfected this entire fight if I just stuck with Pac-Man strats. Oh well, how dare I not? Ooh, hot lead! What's it synergizing with? Plasma beam. So when I die, I'll get a plasma beam. Damn it! Alright, I need to go to heroin and check what its synergies are. Heroin. Dungeon. Cool. The second page is hot lead, so I have to imagine a lot of people are wondering what this synergy is. Heroin. Uh, it is... Plasma beam. Enables plasma beam mode, which fires a fire laser when uncharged. And a large piercing fire when... Pre what the hell? Oh, if you have certain items or guns, 
the reloading with a full magazine switches it to a different mode. Okay. Oh, that's badass. Yes, please. Oh, get some. I love it. All right, we should find something else to check with the secret rooms with, though. Mm -hmm. uh, still got a hell of a lot left down in here. Uh, let's go back to the plasma gun, though. So it takes about the same time to charge. Looks like this has a way better AoE effect. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, no, it seems like this is penetrative and that's like the best benefit that it has. Maybe this decision is stupid, but I actually don't like the heroine like that. I want my good old, the one that I know how to play with back. Wow. The misses. And now it's time to just eat him. Alien engine, enter the danger zone. Also got the airstrike. It is not superior to what I currently have, so we'll be throwing that one away. Alien engine is a super up close weapon. Like it has extraordinarily low range. Basically like the end of the sprite is the end of its range. And it also pushes you back as you fire it. It does a ridiculous amount of damage, but using it almost guarantees that you'll get hit a lot of the time. So in like hit and run strategies for boss fights, it's real good. But other than that, not really. It's really good for the second phase. Uh, sorry, the second phase. The third phase of the dragon uh, when it's just the heart. It's really good for that. Because that heart ain't moving anywhere. Don't shoot again. I wasn't planning on it. Clear Guantstone. Yes. Also take the Frost Giant, which has a synergy with. Uh, I have Shadow Day, actually. It's, yeah, it's the Frost Giant Icy Grasp. And it's with Wise Bullet Crying, yeah. Um, so that means if you freeze someone and then hit them with the Frost Giant, you'll summon a, 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 a friend to do damage for you. A big old abomination. Sorry, uh, abominable. Okay. I could gun munch, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm just gonna go. Go, 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 go. Down easily. Didn't have great positioning for preventing that attack from being the world's worst thing ever. Damn it, Forge Hammer. Right, what do I want to refill with this? I guess an elephant gun. And we've got our cheese back. Beautiful. I 
I basically only really care about finding items and the exit room here. Items includes, of course, you know, shops and stuff like that as well, though. Then stay there. Stay there, I said. All right, as a result of not staying there, I'm going to kill you. The capital punish immediately. All right, so you can go over pits. Good. Good information to have. Yikes. That could have gone a lot worse. Please give me the partially aged cheese back. Would very much enjoy having it. That said, that room also didn't have a reload for any reason, so... Woo! Just another Guanstone. Nice. Fight Guanstone. Clear Guanstone means I can no longer get poisoned. White Guanstone means that I can no longer... Uh, rather, I, I get an extra blank every floor. It's not a limitation. Or a prevention, rather. Cool. I mean, that's another key, but I really don't need it. You can see the Master of Unlocking is giving me all of these keys, by the way. That's why I'm so key rich. Eat death! Keep that heroin full. Mm hmm. Very, very likely to just purchase all of those. I do want the drum clip. Not going to be taking double vision. Hang on. Need to check all of these walls, damn it. I can't fire this gun anymore. Hmm. Alright, nothing. Sniper bow RPG? Sure. Ooh, RPG, what are you? The synergistic with this becomes particle flow. Alright, what's that doing? We have so damn many synergies, it's too much. Uh, RPG. What's Particle Flow doing? Because the shot seemed the same, and because we have hot lead, that pool of fire makes sense. So I don't know exactly what's being added by the... by the shot. Uh, okay, Particle Flow, RPG becomes homing! Okay, not bad. I could also take the bow. I'll take the bow. Okay, we'll now go in the entire opposite direction. The larger clip size is actually going to be really, 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 really good. It's basically waiting until that happened. Uh, the larger clip size is going to be really good for the rad gun. It's the only reason I got it. Well, that and also having more passives is usually better. For the possibility of synergies. It just threw itself into the abyss. That's hardcore. That's metal as hell, man. I love it. Mm -hmm. Again. Ooh, resummit as well. Well, well, you tried, I'll tell you that much. A scope. That's gotta have a synergy with the sniper rifle. And it does. 360 yes scope. Okay, I've seen this one before. <laughs> uh, the synergy here is the sniper rifle does 50% more damage if you spin around before you shoot. 
Like, I'm definitely not going to use it, and it's probably bad for the viewer experience, but that's cool. All right, let's go clear a bunch of rooms. One shot, one kill. Who needs a sniper rifle when you're rat as hell? I'm rat as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore, frankly. So none of those shots technically missed, but one of them did land in the corpse of an already dead character. I say they... Okay, that one did miss. Um, I say they didn't technically miss. Two, three, four, six, seven, uh, because things that respect you know, whether or not a gun miss uh, misses count hitting corpses as hits. Oh, no more synergies. But I wanted one. Oh, hell yeah. Two keys. I was running out of those. I only have 12 now. Yeah, this gun has been supercharged, but it counts as having been passively reloaded. Probably because I swapped away from it or put ammunition in it. That'll actually count as a passive reload as well. So I don't want to do that. Passive reload, by the way. If you passively reload the rad gun, it loses most of its effectiveness. And that's just so that you can't, you know, actively reload it seven times and then just keep swapping away from it in order to basically have a ridiculously fast, extremely high damage weapon. This is easy to do. Whee! I haven't even used one full clip of the rad gun, by the way. Yeah, I was never going to hit that. Okay, we're now going to be using the egg gun. I'm not scared of you. I'm literally immune. Come at me. What the hell was that? I also just ran into the enemy, by the way. So, yeah, well done me. Uh, because I was confused about that attack that I have never seen before. The wall of bullets from the top. So. Mm -hmm. Definitely taking the damage I didn't need to here, but we'll be fine. We shall persevere. Get it. Ah. <sighs> Some of my worst runs get lead god. Some of my best runs don't. Riddle me that. Okay. Let's piece it. Howdy. I kind of want to go do the hunter's pass, but I haven't picked up the bullet to kill the pass, so we can't do that. 
and I'm not gonna like the the reward that you get for full clearing this floor is just like peace of mind that you didn't get like an end of room chest spawn or something like that and miss out on it. Eh, it's so tiny in impact. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I actually do need the ammo enough to pick that up, despite the fact that it screwed up my damage bonus. Okay. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Don't need that. See how much easier having the damage bonus made this room? We just walked in and then immediately capped the hell out of that skeleton. Just gonna eat both of you. One, two, All right, we're just going to count those as both tactical blanks. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, we'll count both of those as tactical blanks rather than me taking damage because I was focused on everything except for the video game. This is an extremely good room for the rad gun. How cool is that? Love it. Mm -hmm. That is the least painful set of three red gun uh, cloaks that I've ever fought. The absolute least painful. Nice. Two, three, four, six. Mm -hmm. uh, got it. And we even hit the reload as well. Hell yes. This very much looks like I chose the right path here, by the way. All seems to be going in the right direction. Wait, I have spring heels and I haven't even been using them this entire time. Ugh. I did get all of them on the first shot. Nice. That was two shots to kill a gun nut, by the way. Then up there. Just waiting for them to peek their heads out. Oh my god, I actually hit the eighth reload. Oh my gosh. Our damage is now absolutely bananas. What? Bad roll. <laughs> That's what I get for taking a second to gloat. Deserved it though. Yeah, I was wondering, that's why I didn't fire a volley immediately. I was wondering whether a single hit with this damage bonus was gonna be enough to kill an agonizer. And yeah, it is. Yeah, I was never going to hit that. One, two, nope. 
Got him. You too, sir. Wasn't great. I was pretty certain I was safe there. Oh well. God damn it, I need to watch my actual timer. That's the one problem with this whole build. Ooh, we actually hit it. Uh, that's the one problem. One. That's the big problem, I guess, with this whole build, is that I have to watch both the map, my positioning, my ammo in my gun, as well as the cheese, and how much time it has left. And that's just a lot. It's just a lot to do. I wish the sound cue was a little bit clearer. Uh -huh. Got him. Unfortunately, I can't reload before we get on the next map, so I'm already pretty likely to use the scrambler here, unless I manage to hit this eighth reload, which would be insane. No. Okay, scrambler. And... The progress begins again. Just stand here and kill him. This would have been... Oh my gosh, I thought I hit it in time. Uh, this would have been an exceedingly cheesy way to get my first resourceful rat kill. I'm kind of glad that it wasn't my first resourceful rat kill, nor my first lich kill. But this is cool. Permanent cheese! It's the cheese strats. In both meanings of the word. Well, for the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Answer the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully you'll see... Uh, there's a playlist in the description down below with all my content of the game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time because I have... I, I have to, like, immediately go. So as soon as we get to the collection screen, uh, I'm going to end the episode and then jet. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.